Hi folks, Max from Galaxy S2 Root.com. I am losing my voice because I've been yelling all day, uh, but it is a very nice day here in California. Let's do a ROM of the week here with Cat uh, ROM for the Galaxy S2 GTI 9100. Very nice ROM. Um, it is actually uh, built off Neat ROM, um, and uh, Neat ROM is one of my favorite ROMs also. Um, neat ROM is more more neat and it's kind of a bare bones ROM versus this one has some more features added on to it. Um, it will say Android 4.3.3 but it is actually Android 4.1.2 ROM. Uh, let me go ahead and show you. The first thing you'll notice different um, that the, uh, the XA user Rurg Rurg, um, his uh, username is actually RGRRG. I think that's pronounced Rurg Rurg. Um, sounds like my dog. No, I'm just kidding. It's, uh, I'm not. I'm not saying the developer is like a dog, but you know, it sound, the name sounds like a dog when you say it. Maybe I'm saying it wrong. Anyway, uh, let's go on to the ROM overview here. Looking pretty nice, uh, very nice ROM, nice UI, No 3 UI, you got No 3 icons. Uh, everything turned into No 3 as much as possible, including the camera icon. Uh, even the toggles icon has been uh, changed to No 3 icons. Um, and also you'll notice uh, No 3 calculator if you're into note 3 calculator you have it right there and uh, let me go ahead and kind of go over one by one uh, add away app if you need to get rid of ads uh, flash player on board hovering controls if you want to swipe away at your photos and videos in your gallery um, just like an s4 you can do that I have a full tutorial guide on that uh, note 2 pop-up browser um, also you've get uh, note 2 gallery app and uh, which is nice probably my favorite um, I really love this 3D scroll effect here. Um, so very nice stuff. And also let's go ahead and go here. S Health, S Translator from S4 and Note 3. Uh, Viper 4 Android, that is probably the best rooted app. Um, I highly recommend uh, for your any of your Androids. I mean, it's better than anything I've seen on my computer. Um, definitely the way to go. I also have a full tutorial guide on that. Super SU for root. Yes, you have full root. Uh, some people don't realize custom ROMs uh, come with root by default. Yes, they do. Um, and also SMMOS Planner. Um, also S Tweaks. Now this ROM does come with overclockable kernel. I've got it actually overclocked to 1.6 gigahertz, as you can see here. Once you open up S Tweaks app, you'll see uh, boot CPU frequency. Now this won't actually uh, improve your speed performance. Um, what you want to actually boost is your boot CPU frequency. Set that to 1.6 gigahertz if you want the best battery life. Now, oh sorry, best performance. If you want the best battery life, you can still get very good battery life while overclocked at 1.6 gigahertz. Uh, what you can do is change these voltages uh, from whatever it is and under volt it. Um, so just under volt it a little bit at a time, just keep applying. Uh, and also one note is that if you undervolt too much, um, your phone might, you know, not boot. Um, so I highly suggest if you if you want to do it right, only touch the higher frequencies, um, such as above 1200 megahertz. So you can start undervolting all of these up here, um, and basically after undervolting, you can go ahead and play a game, um, something graphic intensive, something CPU intensive, or you can even run Quadrant. If it runs well, you can go ahead and undervolt even more and see how well that does. Uh, and keep doing that until you can find the lowest uh, voltage you can run your phone at, and then add maybe 25 millivolts, and then it'll, that'll probably keep it pretty stable. And you know, sometimes you can even overclock it to 1.6 gigahertz and get um, just as good battery life uh, while not, uh, you know, un uh, overclocked. And also some miscellaneous stuff here, I.O. memory, GPU, you can even overclock your GPU, same thing here. Um, I believe this one also does um, GPU voltages. So very good. Uh, I love S-Tweaks. It's, it's awesome. You can also tweak your screen there. Um, for sound, uh, master volume gain, some additional sound stuff here, um, and also your button um, LED notifications, you can use your buttons as uh, notifications. And that's pretty much all S tweak stuff, but um, looking pretty good. Overall, it's got some very good UI and uh, also Note 3 style dialer. Uh, very nice stuff here. And also for your contacts, you can go ahead and swipe to the right to call, swipe left to uh, message. Um, so very good stuff. I might have left some stuff out, but overall, I really like this ROM. 
and uh, I think I did point out that already advanced s you can go ahead and change your toggles there and yeah do check it out for this week's um, ROM of the week and also uh, multi-window enable for all apps uh, very nice stuff and I kind of like it I do like it a lot um, it's a very simple ROM the developer has picked some good options uh, for the daily user of the Galaxy S2 GTI 9100 um, now it's not full feature like Biftor where you can change everything every color in your ROM uh, but again this is a very nice set of options so very nice job um, to XDA user RGG RGG or RARG RARG uh, and uh, that's about it so check it out for this week's ROM of the week and do let me know what you think if you like TouchWiz ROMs uh, for AOSP ROMs um, do sign up for my email list uh, because I'll have you know AOSP ROM TouchWiz ROM I'll probably go back and forth uh, every week so that's about it and I will see you guys soon as always uh, stay hoi on Android